All right, we're gonna do our cold fire on this 385 we just did. These are awesome. You don't get to do the 54 millimeter tops very often. And honestly, stock, I think they're on par with the 55 millimeter 390 top ends. Uh, why they went one mil bigger, I, I don't know. Why did Husky do a lot of things? This one uh, was featured in a video yesterday uh, doing the short block, doing new crank bearings, new crank seals, reinstalling the crank. Today I did the port work. We took, uh, I should have taken better pictures. There was a bunch of chipping and debris damage in the band from where the old crank let go. We were able, that was all gone after 20 thousandths of a cut. Went ahead and did a 45 thousandths cut because we were there. Set the squish back down to 20, put some basic work numbers. Uh, I think they're like 80, 98, 120, something like that. Um, did go ahead and do a one inch muffler mod. I copy Matt House on this style. Big one inch pipe right there in the corner. TIG brazed on there. There's some little stuff left to do, you know, like uh, I need to replace that starter cable. But I'm excited, so let's fire it up. Uh, I've got to put a chain brake handle on it too. On these, instead of pumping, I do like to give it a little whoop. Too much flooded it. Oh boy, yeah. All right, haven't tested the coil, haven't checked anything else. Let's hope it fires. I think I did actually flood it. I'm not going to edit this out because you deserve to see failures. I might have to replace the stupid starter cable anyway. So yeah, while we're here, let's do two things. Take a look at the plug. Make sure I didn't flood it. I probably did. And we'll double check and make sure it's got spark. Does it look flooded to you? It's a little wet. <laughs> Grab our ignition checker. All right. You, you watch and you tell me if you see sparkles. You ready? You see it? Yeah, they're there. It's got the sparkles. I can tell you right now that that recoil is not going back in that shape. Because there's very little else that's more annoying than a recoil that doesn't recoil. All right. High idle, no choke. <laughs> All right, 
this. We let it heat cycle a little bit, clear out all the oil and assembly it lubricant, which is really just cheap two-stroke oil I keep in a can. Um, that's about all steel two-stroke oil is good for. I put it in a can. It's good for startup. Ah, whatever. So heat cycle, did some basic tuning, just seeing where everything was where it's supposed to be, see how it responds to tuning. Um, that's generally my first step in doing any kind of uh, leak testing is if it responds to small changes in the carb, especially at idle, and if it idles down right, you're far less likely to have a leak. Now, once it gets up to temp and it's been under load and you cut with it and then it starts doing goofy things, you might still need to do a proper pressure vac test. But this is sort of where I like to start with them. That limited coil is annoying. I hate doing, uh, I'm not a big fan of those, uh, but not everybody's got access or wants to or cares to do an unlimited coil on a work saw. Um, so I'll get with them and see what they think and go from there. So look for cutting videos tomorrow.